Hey guys, Carly Smith here, aka The Visual Nerd for 8 Days a Geek, and I'm here reviewing Dark Knight Rises. First off, cinematically, the movie is amazing. The story, the characters, everything is just really awesome. But as an avid comic book fan, I kind of just wish there was a little bit more Batman. And I mean, Chris Nolan finally got it right with Batman, and given the fact that he can finally turn his head instead of... Of course I'm gonna want to see more Batman live action. Also, all those jokes that were flying around before the movie's release about how you weren't gonna be able to hear Bane because of his little, little mask thing, well, they were kind of true. What? I mean, it sounds like you're trying to be intimidating, but maybe you're trying to confess your feelings for me or something. But mild and audible speech aside, Bane is still really badass. He made a very intimidating, threatening villain. Though, he, they did kind of switch it up a little bit with how they played off his whole toxin-inducing stuff. Not gonna give it away, but Chris and Ellis just changed up just a bit. And little Anne Hathaway. I tried. I really did. I went in there with a completely unbiased view on things, trying to say I'm going to see her as a Catwoman, but it just wasn't happening for me. Anne Hathaway is a great actress. She did everything right. I mean, she, you know, just did the lines really good. I mean, she sounded like Catwoman. But then I saw her cute little face, and um, she just wasn't that crazy psycho biatch that, you know, I'm expecting Catwoman to be. Silver lining, though. Um, the little cat ears that I've been kept seeing, all the promo pictures and whatnot, they aren't just some random cat ears that they threw on her, or some weird cat and ear antenna looking things. They're actually her goggles when she flips them up under her head. So, that was nice. I was glad to see that there was actually some purpose to them being on her head and looking too much like Eartha Kit from the 70s Batman show. All in all, I of course enjoyed it. It was a blast. It did not seem like it was an almost three hour movie at all. Really, really liked it. There's a lot of little nods to comic book fans with about different characters and different stuff that supposedly might be happening in another Batman film if and when they were to make one. So keep an eye open for that and they're awesome. They made me geek out completely. And in the end, I decided to give it a four out of five. Honestly, if there just would have been a little bit more Batman, it would have been a five out of five. Totally. I absolutely loved it. But like I said, just would have liked to see him kick a little bit more ass or even just be there in the freaking costume more. Maybe about six scenes of him in the actual Batman costume doing stuff. So, you know, for a Dark Knight Rises movie, I would have liked to see a little bit more Dark Knight Rising. Oh, and they show the new Superman movie trailer before the movie starts for Batman. So be sure to watch that. It looks awesome. And I'm very, very hopeful. And given that I don't want to give away any spoilers, I'm going to let that be that. Go see it. Go see it. I'm going to go see it again, maybe even four or five times, who knows, but it's that good. It's worth it. Comic book fan, not a comic book fan, it's Batman. Come on, people. Just go see the movie. Enjoy yourself, and I will be here again for another review sometime soon. This is Carly Spade, aka The Visual Nerd, for 8 Days a Geek. See you later.